I think she lost track of me. Hello, little robot. Could you please come over here? I would like to have a word. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome back to Budget Cuts, and to the likely end of our little escape. Like, that's something that's been bothering me a lot in between episodes, is that this game started off with me trying to flee these death robots and escape the office. And somewhere along the lines, things got twisted and molded into me finding a virus and uploading it to kill all of the robots. And I don't even seem to really care about escaping anymore. And the person doing all the twisting and molding has been Winta. So I wanted to say right now, I don't trust her, okay? Something is weird, something is going on. I can't quite put my finger on it. Mainly because I don't have fingers, but also because I'm just not sure. My standing theory right now is that Winta works at a competing office and she wants me to kill all of these robots because then her office will be able to outcompete ours. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe that guy has his head stuck in a door. Um, you might want to help him. Is the mainframe where I'm going? Is that looks like some kind of big important thing that I could drop a virus into? Oh, we have a phone. I'm not expecting a phone call right now. Maybe if I get near the phone, she'll notice. That's really weird. Right? She shouldn't be able to see me, should she? <laughs> it's just eyes everywhere. Okay, uh, well we got some death bots and this definitely looks very important. I don't think you're really going anywhere, dude. <laughs> I, I want to help him, but at the same time... <laughs> <laughs> like, what is happening? I don't need to upload a virus. What are these guys gonna do against anyone? Zero, one, two, five. Zero, one, two, five. Now you need to insert the virus into the mainframe so I can hack the system and find out where Rex's office is. Now, let's see here. Huh. So the mainframe door is locked with a code and I can't find it anywhere on the network. Ugh. Think you can help out? There's not much more I can do here. Sorry. Where is here? Is here a competing office? Is here like a security center in this building? I don't see cameras. Oh, okay. Well, screw me, I guess. I can stare at it all day. Everybody is talking at once. Do you know where the code is to get into the mainframe? Maybe this idiot does. Excuse me, sir. Are you You're having some serious issues over here. Where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, locating will to... Will to live? Is it locating the will to live? Because I was about to plunge scissors into your back and then I realized I could probably just do this. A racket? You scared me. Sorry. Sorry. I, I mean, it's up to you, dude. I, I can finish you off if you really want. It's no trouble to me, but I suppose we can just teleport in here. Oh, here we go. Howdy. Can I help you? <laughs> Howdy! I think the question is, can I help you? Important. Don't forget to ask Mr. Reinhardt. Hello, human. I am very busy with my tasks. Can we be friends? Will you shut up, please, for just a minute? I'm gonna put you out of your misery if you say one more thing. Ask Mr. Reinhardt for a copy of the control panel key. So, did they remember to do that? Is there a copy of the control panel key in here? There's a whole lot of security, that's for sure. Is that a camera? Monday, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was you. Okay, you lucky it wasn't you. Hello, and welcome to our department. I told you, dude, last chance. I, listen, I did him a favor, okay? I put him out of his misery. So we have a monitoring station over here with chocolate and cookies and some kind of dog bed. Is there a puppy around here? Robo yeah, look, more little, little bones. A robo puppy. <laughs> so I need to find a key. That's what we're looking for right now. I don't think any of these things say anything. Lots of microwaves and stuff like that. Hmm... It's really surprising that I can drop a vent cover and everybody freaks out and it gets startled, but I plunge a pair of scissors in between this guy's eyes and everybody's happily working away, right guys? Nothing weird happening over here, so I need the code to get into the mainframe. 
Oh, and I need a level 8 key. I only have a 7. Communications Department Directory Offices, the Office of Director Reinhardt. Okay. We don't need questions. We know exactly where it is. Oh, I can't get in there. Ooh. No more singing, okay? Stop it. I have to go through there, right? There's no way there's anything in the cafeteria or anything like that. You get anything interesting back there today, dipstick? I mean, other than an actual dipstick Hello. by the looks How of it. Hello, weekend? Hello. I only ask because I've never had one. What do you mean? Everybody has weekends. Staple gun. Can I use this? Doesn't look like it. Ah, that's disappointing. <laughs> I would love to fire staples at people. How does somebody lose their name tag? Yeah, as much as I'd love to bludgeon a robot to death with a dumbbell, I think I'm just going to let him do his work. So we have accounting, repair, and cleaning. Winter didn't tell me where I need to go. This just looks like a cafeteria, right? You mean accounting, and repair, and cleaning? There's nothing... Oh, there's a little more. Okay. Um, um, nope, don't mind me. Uh, quick, quick, quick. Okay. That was a little close. Bring it over here, big boy. There we go. That's the stuff. And a little more. Ooh. Gotta keep an eye out for them, man. They just pop out of nowhere. What am I looking at right now? I think that little hoverbot is trying to make a little hoverbot baby out of the security guard. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best not to get in trouble by sneaking up. Okay, let me just uh, quickly... Uh, uh, okay, okay. You get smooshed and you get this... There we go. We good? Security down. <laughs> if you hit them in the head, it makes a real big difference. Cleaning and repair. Yeah, I really don't want anything to get cleaned up or repaired around here, but level nine? Come on. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna start using these vents. Screw your key cards. Um, I get this out of the way. Can I not get through here? Oh, I can't actually open this up. That's a problem. Now this is a little bit more my speed, so how about we check you out? Anything interesting going on in the pantry? Other than... Stared it all day. The saddest robot I've ever seen? Why are you hanging out in the dark of the pantry, dude? <laughs> Just kind of staring at the binders. Ooh, hello. Okay, so we got some weapons. I think I like them more than the scissors. So we could do some quick switcheroos. Hello! Hi! Would you like to join me for a caffeinated beverage? I don't think you have any caffeinated beverages. I was just gonna ask, why are you hanging out in the pantry in the dark by yourself? Your eyes are freaky. Ugh, I've never been this close up to one of you guys. <laughs> yeah, this this isn't a caffeinated beverage. This is just a book. book. Oof, wobble, wobble. Okay, well, you enjoy Howdy. yourself. Can I help you? No, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm just gonna go along my way. You keep an eye out for, um, you know, deadly viruses that might shut you off and stuff like that. I'm gonna go through here and see if there's... This is back to where I started. Okay, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, I was confused by what Winter said. I thought we had to upload the virus here, and then that would indicate to us where his office was so that we could end things. But it's the other way around. We need to go find his office. The code will be in there, or I guess the key for the control panel, and then we can upload the virus. That's the end goal. So we're going to have to come over here and fight our way in. I don't really want to be fighting right now. The level 8 thing confused me. That's what set me off. I thought I had to do it in a different order. Anything going on over here? Hi. Can you come over here, please? But no shooting. I think she lost track of me. Hello, little robot. Could you please come over here? I would like to have a word. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I frightened you. That's fine. I want to frighten the death bot. Come on. Oh, oh. What just happened? Did that work? Oh, she got hit by one of my knives that I threw earlier. <laughs> okay, that works for me. So now we just have to watch out for all of the other ones. Yeah, but they're standing around. I think you were just the sentry. I don't know how I feel about those cameras. Or the pig bots. Pig bots seem okay, actually. You know what? I think the Roomba pigs are on my side. I just gotta make sure I'm nice and stealthy. I get right up behind you. Maybe touch your little robot pooper. I want to see if this still works. 
Yeah, that doesn't work anymore. That's what I thought. I talked about this last episode, how I'm pretty sure they saw my video and they patched it so that you can't grab their gun and shock them into oblivion, which is a huge disappointment. Was that another one roaming around that I just saw? Those cameras are definitely turning to watch me. Don't mind me just leaving behind no witnesses. <laughs> no robots. Okay, that wasn't the mother. I'm sure this was just one of those accessory ones. Can I get rid of these? I really don't like the way, yeah, I don't like the way that they turn and look at me. How about I just, uh, eh. No? Uh, I, F. Anderson Anderson. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, so we can go all the way back over here. Level eight. Hey, the office of the director. Okay, so it is through this, as you can tell, it's through this door. We can go through there, or we could probably take the janitor's closet. Uh, hi. What are you gonna do? You gonna come through the door? I really doubt it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can I grab your gun right now? It's, yeah, this is mine. Are you just giving me the finger all of a sudden? Yeah, everybody come over here. Party by the glass. Maybe I can uh, reach through and, and grab your head or something like that. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, nah. Oh, 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 that worked. That worked really well. That was super effective. Okay, your turn to come over. I think it might be pinned to the glass. I can't seem to move it. It's just been kind of twerking its way down to the floor. So you have no idea what's going on. I think I'm gonna take the janitor's closet. Don't really want to go through that little tiny hole there and have you jump me. This looks much more promising, right? Go through here? Anything scary in here? No? I can probably come around back? This is somebody else's office. Tom Knight. Yeah, now we're talking. Can we take a second to appreciate how intense this freaking music is right now? Oh crap, um, gonna be down here if you need me. You probably will need me, come on over. Just do him, oh, just do him a squats, do him a squats. No, no. I don't even stab, I just kind of touch with the knives now. <laughs> Ever so delicately, no witnesses. He just went on like that for like five minutes and I, I don't know if he was speaking in tongues or if he's a robot losing his mind, but we found his office. It's just uh, another level eight key card. I don't suppose you have a level eight key card over there, there Tebow, do you? <laughs> Probably not. Is he in here, I wonder? Looks like just a regular office. Kind of expected there to be like some kind of crazy megaphone or a big bed. Potato bot. Could you imagine if the bad guy in this was just a disgruntled potato bot? Hey, there we go. Okay, now we're talking. Screw your level 8 key cards. I don't need them. I could just stealth my way around. Kinda like this. Director Reinhardt. Okay, so we're definitely in the right place. Is that you? I can never be too safe. You know what? If you are the bad guy of this game, I really don't want to just let you get off scot-free, so... There we go. Just to be certain. And if you weren't Director Reinhardt, I apologize, but I'll give you a cookie. There you go. Apology cookie. I'm gonna take one for myself, too. So, I'm looking for some kind of key or code. There's gotta be something of interest in here. Why do I grab the stuff in the desk instead of the desk? <laughs> Come on, hands, work with me. Ooh, there we go. Ah, finally, it was the one single desk drawer that I couldn't get open, but we have the key. I don't want to get rid of a knife. Ah, crap, okay, I don't really have a choice here. You can hold on to it. Just keep an eye out for me. There we go. So, we have the key. All we have to do is get back to the control room. I'm a little concerned what all the security cameras are doing. Like, I've left a trail of dead robots in my wake, but nobody seems to really care. There isn't all that much heightened security around the mainframe. That's also quite sketchy, but we made our way back to the control panel. We pop you in there, open you up, and then click a switch. Oh, I guess technically nobody's been watching them, right? He's been off. So, what does that do for me, Winta? I didn't find a code. All I did was turn this thing on. 
Okay, well, I've definitely been here before, but I don't remember if we've gone up there. Like, I know I edited a lot of this stuff out, but I've been roaming around for like half an hour. I have definitely not been up here yet. Hello? Don't mind if I just sneak down here, do you? Ooh. Oh, we're behind it now. It was screwed on, that's why I couldn't open that earlier. Interesting, hey, don't mind if I do. Okay, that might help a little bit. Is that a giant pig bot? <laughs> it looks like it. Better make sure it doesn't get up. The dude definitely likes his screwdrivers. Yeah, something tells me the screwdriver might be important. Okay, so do you have anything to say, strange screwdriver man? Let's see here. Transcore work order, employee ID, blah, 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 date May 31st, department repairs, work description, objective, switch, the surveillance station, the supervisor state. Unscrew the hatch lid and press the button marked with supervisor's symbol. Reattach the lid. Sign here after work task complete. That's right. That thing had some kind of lid screwed onto it. So if I remove that, maybe I can make it useful. I'm so confused how that was supposed to help me at all. So we can get this off, head out of here, and then see if that's going to fix anything. They keep saying that every day is taco day here, but I have yet to see a single taco. I think it's just more robot lies. How do you people live with yourselves with the promise of tacos when you never have any tacos? I'm a little confused personally because I'm pretty sure I just plunged this into this dude's back and he didn't... That's not good. Are they evolving? I don't like it. All the more reason to get out of here. So we need to switch this to supervisor mode by turning on the supervisor symbol. I don't even know what the supervisor symbol is. It's probably something like this. So let me just, uh, come on. Come on, there we go, okay. Um, can I please get out of the way? Super yeah, it has to be this one, right? Oh. Is that bad? Why, why is it red? Red seems bad. Weird. Oh, oh, one, two, three, four. That couldn't be the password, could it? Oh, this is probably a murder bot. That's what it is. It's the security detail whose eyes I'm looking through right now. So he's on the other side. Really, one, two, three, four. That's what they went with. I swear to God if this works. One, two, three, four. You don't have to be crazy to work here, but it sure helps. <laughs> crazy or stupid. We're now entering the mainframe. Big step forward here. What does this say? Insert disk for manual overdrive. Oh, you got Be something sure to say, do you? A matrix enriching enhanced and strategic decision making drives critical science based and ubiquitous next steps. Super clear, right? that make any sense to anybody? No, I didn't think so. Stuff is still blinking in and out of existence, which is still concerning. Uh, where do you want me to pop a disk in? I don't see any drives anywhere. Maybe if I just kind of rub it against you? Is that what you're into? There are, oh! There is not a disk Help slot there. They're dead. Is that the other? Oh wow! Did you hear that? That sounded sinister. <laughs> hey, look, didn't worry about anything I knew I shouldn't trust you, Winter. I didn't hear what she said, but whatever it was, it was weird. Can I get through here? One, two, three, four, maybe? No? Okay, I gotta go phone Winter. I'll be right back. She said something about people always get reported to HR, and it's not that big a deal, and everything is fine, but she said it in a very malicious voice, which was my main concern. Hello, human. I am very busy with my human tasks, too. 
Can we be friends? You don't have any issues with what's going on right now? Okay, good for you, man. I wish I could be that mellow. 8807, Winter, please don't turn on me. Please don't turn on me. Come on. What? Oh, 8807 is to open that up. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. So now, do I finally get to escape? Does it turn out I was a robot all along? Is Winter evil? I really just have no idea what is going on right now. 8807. Huh? Okay. Making progress. Hey, level 7, I can get in here. I know there's a death bot, but I'm still curious. Just make sure I'm good and armed. Uh, careful. Oh, there's a couple of them. What, what, what are they doing? Why are they sh why are they short? Why are they whoa 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 whoa? Why are they little? Am I losing my mind? They're like three feet shorter than me. What if I just uh, eh? There you go. You can have that. Is this one gonna slowly leak out or what? Yeah, I know. Fatal hit. Okay, that's what I like. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. So um. What's going on in this mess? Oh, this is what I was looking at. This was their eyes, I see. Well, I think that's more than enough screwing around for me for one day. Hello again, Mr. Bucket. I am just going to be on my way. I would love to escape right about now. Hey, we're finally gonna make it to human resources and we can't take our knives. Wonderful. Sure, why not? Come on. Including office supplies, toiletry, kitchen wear, or other, the property of Transcorp. Carefully but Come on, come on, there we go, thank you. Hey, human, Hi. what are you doing here? Oh, I don't know anymore. You got reported to HR? I, uh, I, I'm sure Adam can't be that bad, right? Adam? I mean, at least you'll get to see where all the humans go. <laughs> He sound human. concerned and confused. Okay, he's been talking about Adam over the speakers a lot, so Adam is the head of HR. I guess that's where we're going now? Sure. So funny story, I fully intended on finishing this game today. I've already played more of it. I have like another hour of footage. I could make this episode super long, but I really don't want to. Partially because I never got the ending. The game is super bugged. I couldn't reach it but also partially because that bug was one of the funniest things that I have ever experienced in VR. And I really don't want to shoehorn it in at the end of this episode. I want to share it with you guys. It's just ridiculous. So be sure to keep an eye out for next episode where we'll finally escape, save the world. We'll be introduced to Adam, the head of HR who's a surprisingly nice guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.